So the Romanian-born Harry Gottlieb was one of a number of artists who found work and explored political themes through government commissions. Um, a number of artists working during the Great Depression find work within the Federal Art Project, a government-sponsored initiative that provided opportunities for um, art initiatives throughout the United States, often by supplying materials or providing studio spaces in a work environment. Harry Gottlieb settles in the graphics arts division where he focuses primarily on screen, uh, screen printing, an affordable and widely circulatable medium with which he takes up as his subject, workers suffering from or uniting against injustices in the American labor economy. Um, one of the most interesting prints, I think, in this show is The Strike is One, a 1940 screen print. Um, this print is interesting to me because um, he chose, when producing this print at the Graphic Arts Division, to not submit it to his uh, supervisors for approval out of fear that they might censor its somewhat more explicitly uh, political content with workers successfully uniting against the strike. So while artists such as Harry Gottlieb or Louis Lazowick um, produce kind of dynamic, politically charged figural work, um, Boris Margot was an artist who turned to a much more introspective mode of abstraction to respond to the cultural upheavals of World War II specifically. This is a remarkable portfolio that he produced, um, all based on a printmaking technique entirely of his own invention called cello cuts. And these are pretty remarkable, and what they are is they're based on dissolving sheets of celluloid, sort of transparent material used in film, and dissolving those sheets in acetone to create this thick kind of goopy mixture that he would spread on plates and let it harden. And it would hold this kind of soft texture that, that he would then etch in or carve into relief or press objects in to produce these really inventive abstract compositions, which he would then um, print with multiple types of ink, sometimes with stencil, creating works that he said wanted to be expressive of all of the hope and destruction of this age. One of the goals of this new Works on Paper gallery is to showcase components of the Carter's collection of more than 7,000 prints that haven't been shown to tell new stories and new perspectives. And uh, we hope that Culture Shock will be a great first step in that direction. I would say about three quarters of these prints have never before been on view, and they tell a more expansive story of American art that often hasn't been told in our galleries.